from the starting car. That's why there's a little bit of movement to it, that, and plus the fact that I'm not as steady with the camera as some other people might be, but we get some great footage also from up top, uh, and we just have a just a terrific coverage of this qualifying event. Now, Master Levesque, uh, any concerns with you right here going to the gate, not having seen it yet? I know he had some problems last year the first time he went behind the starting gate. He's a bit aggressive. Well, he was up on the bit pretty good, but, uh, you know, he's pretty smart. I brought him in a little slow to it today where usually I put him right up on the gate. And, you know, I just eased him in there, and he wanted to go out of there pretty good. You're in against some good competition here. A Master Levesque with saddle pad number four with the white cheek pieces. Starting from post position two was the two-year-old uh, trotting Colt star from Florida, Groovy, who made almost $50,000 in only 11 starts last year at Pompano Park. From the outside post seven, Wally Hennessy was driving Rancher Hall, a New York Sire Stakes Garland Lobel Colt, who chased you a few times on the circuit last year. And you quickly established yourself on the front end in this one. Did you expect to be on the lead? Yeah, because, uh, you know, I wanted to get him out there and go my own mile, and uh, and he likes to be on the front. Now, right out of the gate, he relaxed, and, uh, and I could have went and done anything I wanted, though. Happy to see the quarter go up in 30 and one-fifth seconds on the off track? Yeah, because, you know, I babied him through the first turn. He threw in one bad step, and... Uh, you know, but he doesn't want to make a mistake, so uh, that really helps. He's not making any mistakes here either as he goes to the half in a minute and three-fifths, and that pretty well according to what I figured. You had told me you wanted to go about 159 with him coming into the race. Of course, that was expecting to be on a fast track. It was a sloppy track instead. You went your 159 anyway, and you did it the right way. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty handy, you know. He, he was, uh, I had to chase him a little bit just because uh, there wasn't anybody right on him, you know. If somebody comes up and races him, uh, he goes right on. So, but I want him to work pretty hard today. Uh, just to put a good mile in him. He know. did do that. Were you happy with the stride? Happy with the way he was reaching? Uh, I've watched him train quite often this spring at Pompano Park. This is as good as he's looked. Yeah, he's really gotten better uh, since his foot blew out, and uh, it's really helped him. Watching your turn for home right now was three quarters and one thirty, so it was a twenty-nine and two third quarter. He's coming at twenty-nine and one last quarter, so the fastest quarter is the last quarter, and the last half is fifty-eight and three. Pleased with that? Yeah, I thought that was plenty. You know, I didn't want to overdo it, but I wanted to. I'd been in, trained him in fifty-nine, so I figured that was a good place to start. Take a look at the teletimer ringing up those numbers, 159 and 1, the final time for the first appearance of the year from Master Levesque, last year's Breeders' Crown winner. Now, he's a three-year-old now. This is the glory year. This is when you get the publicity. This is just a sampling of it. I mean, look at it. You qualified the horse, and we're showing the qualifying race uh, to all our simulcast outlets. Uh, the Internet had the uh, win photo with all fours off the ground already, like 11.30 this morning. It was already out on the internet. It's a pretty staggering thing if you think about it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, it's a lot of fun and all the just having a great horse. And you know, glad to hear you use that word because it better be fun. Enjoy the ride. This is going to be a terrific season. And when is the season actually going to uh, dig in for Ernest? When is his first race scheduled to be? Uh, he's got his first stake race uh, May 6th at Freehold, the Dexter Cup, and then the elimination, I mean the finals the next week. Oh.